Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to see you today. Today's video is going to be a plus size mango try on haul. I am going to talk about each piece and then I'm going to show you how I styled it with some of the articles in my own closet as well as some of the articles that came in this haul. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first garment that I wanted to talk about is this pair of ivory stretchy jersey knit cargo pants. The first thing I wanna say, when you see me style them, they are going to be at the right length. It's because I tacked them up. They do run long if you are a petite, so you will have to have these pants altered. That aside, I really did enjoy these pants. I think that they are a nice pair of casual pants to either wear at home, lounging about, or even if you have to go out and run errands and things like that. They are very easy to dress up or dress down. I really liked the casualness of them. I think that um, styling them with some sneakers is probably one of the best ways to go with it. They're gonna be a good pant for you if you are looking for something casual to wear at home or when you're running errands or if you happen to be in a casual work environment, you can absolutely put a blazer on and that's gonna elevate them a little bit. I would say that the polyester is not itchy at all. It's actually quite soft and comfortable to wear. So let me show you how I styled this pair of pants and I will be back in just a moment. <laughs> to be new here. My name is Aralia. I am a personal stylist and the content that I provide here is all around style and fashion for the plus size woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post three times a week, two styling videos and one vlog on Wednesdays, Fridays, and the vlog is up on Sundays. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if my content resonates with you. That way you don't miss anything here on my channel. So the next thing that I wanted to show you is this lovely blue sweater. It is is a very very soft thick knit. What really attracted me to this particular sweater is that it had buttons on the shoulders. I really love that detail. It just gives it an air of like nautical or military that really appeals to me. I like how sophisticated it is. It does have a big M in cursive embroidered onto it. If your name doesn't start with an M or you're just not about that, that is a little bit, you know, kind of a, a design detail that I think that we could have done without. I didn't need to have the M on my sweater but it is a very, very soft, soft sweater knit. It's not itchy in the least, and I did like it. I thought that it was really pretty. It's very comfortable, and it is definitely very warm. It would make a really, really great layering piece. I think that it will make a lovely sweater for the winter season. Let me show you a couple of different ways that I styled this sweater. this haul is very basic and there are a couple of really basic things in it but it's because I am on the hunt for these wardrobe basics and the first one is a white button down shirt. I need a white button down shirt. I do not have one in my wardrobe today so this is a gap that I am trying to fill and I thought that I would try this lovely shirt from Mango because I really do like the construction of Mango clothing. I think that it is really good and and I really like how crisp and tailored things are. Not to mention the shirt does have a little bit of darting, so it's not like an oversized boyfriend style. It actually is a little bit fitted to the body. And I felt 
that the arms fit fine. I really liked how they looked. I liked how they fit. Um, and so I feel that I have filled the gap for a white button down in my wardrobe with this particular shirt. It's very basic. It's not very exciting, but it is absolutely something that I think you need in your wardrobe. So if you too need to fill that gap, you might want to try this shirt out. I liked how it tucked in. I like that it's going to be easy for me to tie at the waist. I did style it a couple of different ways. So let me go ahead and cut to the styling montage. Okay, and then the other basic that I tried from Mango is this black work pant. What I will say again for these, they run very, very long. Mango, while they come, they carry plus size, they do not carry plus petite. So this is a pair of pants that I absolutely would have to hem up. I think anybody, unless you are like five, eight or taller, will have to hem these pants because there is quite a bit of fabric on them. And I think they do that on purpose so that that way, you know, if you buy them, you can have them tailored to fit. And that way, you know, it, it can be customizable. So totally get why they have so much fabric. Now, again, I did tack them up in order to style them. You can tell that the hem is falling though. I apologize about that, but it's the best that I could do. I like the material of the pant. It wasn't the same as the fabric for the Torrid black dress pant that I hauled and I now have that in my closet sale. This work pant fabric is a little bit better. I do like the way they fit though. I like the fact that they had a high waist. I think that they fit my body type really, really well. I thought that it was a really great work basic pant. I would definitely encourage you if you, especially now that we're going back to work or if you work in a very formal work environment, this is a really nice pant to get because it does have that crispness of of like an actual formal corporate office environment, you know? I like it. It's a great basic. I think that they're at a good price, even though you will have to factor in the cost of alterations. I think that they are fine. I think that they work really, really well. So let me show you a couple of different ways that I styled this work pant. getting away from the basics, I wanted to get a dark floral for fall. And I found this on the website. It's a beautiful, beautiful floral print. It is a medium sized print. It's not like a small ditzy print. It's not a big bold print. It kind of falls in the middle. I think that it is quite beautiful, really, really harkens to that cottage core look and feel. It's got a slight puffy sleeve and it's got smocking on the cuffs. It's got smocking at the waist. And for me being five feet tall, it fit me all the way to the floor, which I don't really mind that. I'm okay with it being long. If you want to hit that cottage core vibe, this is definitely a dress to look into. I think that the fabric is quite lovely. It is a nice rayon. It printed on both sides, so you know that it is a higher quality fabric. It's got a really pretty navy blue, light blue, and caramel colorway going uh, for it. And it also has little itsy bitsy bits of gray in there as well. So it's got two ties and those two ties are decorative. They're not, you know, functioning at all. I think that it is actually quite a pretty dress 
dress, very versatile, something that you can easily dress up with a blazer and some pumps, or you can dress it way down with a pair of sneakers and a moto jacket. You will have to wear things like tights and such underneath it though, because it isn't a cold weather dress. It's going to require some layering if you are in a cooler climate. If you're in a warm climate, I think you're gonna be fine with this dress. It's actually very, very lovely. So let me go ahead and cut away to the try on bits and let me show you how I styled it. from Mango in this round is a black trench coat. I am kind of sort of hunting for a trench coat. I like trench coats. I think they're very classic. I think they're very lovely. And I do have one that has a really nice kind of almost like a herringbone pattern on it but I need a solid trench coat. And I came across this one and it is actually what I consider pretty reasonably priced for being a trench coat. So I decided to order it and I really, really liked it. I think it is really nice. I think that it fits the bill as to what I'm looking for. It's got all of the trench coat accoutrement that I'm used to seeing, like the flap on the, on the shoulder. It also has the flap in the back. It's got the belt, it's got the buttons. I like the fact that Mango tried to make this look a little bit more high-end because the belt buckle itself is plastic but it's got this like almost like tortoise look to it which I think that's a nice little touch for being what it is I think that it is actually quite good it fit my arms really well I don't think I showed it but I did try it on with the sweater and it fit fine so I know that this coat is actually going to work very well for me the length is really good I think that a trench coat is one of those pieces where you can't fail if you get a good one and I think that this is actually quite good it's not overly puffy it actually has a lot of the really classic trench coat styling it's not trying to be trendy with like poofy sleeves or big padded shoulders or anything like that. It is just 100% classic trench coat. I really liked it. And so let me show you the different ways that I have styled it. those are the few things that I've picked up from Mango. They are rolling out more of their fall lineup, so I will continue to bring you these hauls. Let me know which one was your favorites in the comments down below. Please make sure to share my video if you know anybody who is looking for fall fashion inspiration from the perspective of a plus size personal stylist. Make sure also to give me a big thumbs up because that really helps my channel out. It pushes my channel out into the YouTube algorithm so that we can build this community together. I will be sure to have my hauls playlist for you right here in case you are interested in seeing some of the things that I have been picking up in the recent weeks. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.